All right, we're back. Second video in one day, but we got another big piece of news for minion skills coming up in the new patch 3.2 to trial the answer to for Path of Exile, and I couldn't wait to talk about this. Been waiting since ExileCon, literally since this got announced, to figure out what these minions actually do for Guardian, and here we are. So I'm going to start on the right side one here, which is Summon Sentinel Radiance. This is actually the first node you would take on a minion path for your ascendancy, most likely. Uh, summons or Sentinel Radiance, which follows you and attacks enemies in melee while burning enemies around it and taking a portion of damage from hits for you. You can only have one Sentinel Radiance. Essentially, this is a minion that has a mini Righteous Fire Aura around it, it sounds like. Uh, did a lot of calculations on this on stream quickly when this got released, and I want to talk about kind of what we figured out with this. Uh, so minion deals 30% of its max life per second as fire. Obviously, if you're using Flesh Crafter, for example, this is basically dealing true damage. Um, base radius of 30 is bigger than Righteous Fire by default. Uh, it's going to be much harder to scale this. You have to death scale minion area of effect um, instead of just your area of effect, but it's a larger base radius than Righteous Fire is by quite a bit. Uh, minion taunts on hit, which is nice. It's another defensive layer, and basically it'll pull minions into the Righteous Fire aura, which is pretty fun. It'll take 10% of your damage from hits. Minion lasts 20 seconds, so this is a duration minion, which means it needs to be resummoned every with skill effect, probably 35 seconds. And minion load is equal to yours up to maximum 85. All these stats are from level 85 minions. Has 13,000 base life. So, did some calculations. I put this on to this kind of looked at a similar minion on my Necromancer with all the like the buffs from life and stuff. This is, gets you to about like 40,000 base life, which means you're doing about 12,000 base fire DPS from the Righteous Fire. It's not nothing, but it's also not a lot. I don't know if you probably you can't make a build around this because you can't link any supports to it. It will be cool to have. It takes 10% of your damage from hits. I don't think it's going to have any fear of dying because of that. Um, for example, this is very similar to like a carrion golem, which doesn't really die that often in my experience. I have it usually linked to feeding frenzy, so it's even aggressive. So I don't expect this to be much of a problem as far as living, unless you're constantly taking massive hits. So that is Sutton Orient, that is the first one. Next we're going to talk about Summon Elemental Relic, probably the more interesting of the two, and probably the one that's going to cause the most confusion of what exactly it does. So this will trigger 25% chance, chance to trigger on kill by you or a minion, as well as 25% to trigger on hitting a rare unique, you or your minions hitting a rare unique. So I'll summon a relic of a random element that stays near you. Depending on your element chosen, the Relic Minion will have an Anger, Hatred, or Wrath Aura. These Relics explode when they die, dealing elemental damage to enemies around them. If you already have a Relic of the chosen element, its duration will be refreshed instead of summoning a new one. Okay, so there's a couple things I want to talk about quickly. First of all, this has a cooldown time. Um, the other one had a cast time, this one has a cooldown time. So there's that. Both these cost mana for some reason. That'll be interesting to work out. If, the way I'm picturing both of these is using a skeleton mage build. If you're triggering this like every 0.3 seconds, that's a lot of mana we're chewing through. Some something that I just like kind of thought about. But I think we can work around that. So I'm not too concerned there yet. Let's so talk about what it actually does though. Minions explode on death, dealing 100% of their max life is damage with their chosen element. I know people are gonna try to make this like an exploding like auto bomber kind of thing. I don't think that's the way to do this. I, I don't know how you're going to get that to work. You, you're going to use minion instability of some type. If you have some some 3000 IQ idea for this, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I, just, I don't see it. I went through like a lot of different options of how to get this to work. I'm not seeing it yet. Uh, minion lasts five seconds. And that's about it. But it gives you three free auras. Anger, Hatred, and Wrath. And I'm trying to think of the abilities that, of minions that can actually take advantage of this. And we're thinking... Um, so in Skeletons, Mages, does all three naturally. It does Fire, Lightning, and Cold. Um, Absolution also works super well for this, because it does Fizz Conversion. So Wrath, obviously, is something you run on Absolution already. Anger is just a flat fire damage buff. It's not crazy, but it, it's something. And then Hatred is actually super interesting for Absolution, because Absolution does Fizz Converted to Cold. So the extra Fizz to Cold from the Hatred Aura actually does affect, have quite a big effect. It's like 29% on level 20. Which leads us to the next point of this relic. We don't know what the level of the aura is that they're giving us. I'm going to assume it's level 20. I'm going to assume it scales with the level of the minion. And assume it's level 20. I'm, that's a huge assumption I think I'm making though. It could be stuck at level 10. I have no idea. Hopefully it scales with us. 
that being said, if that works like that, that's a huge buff to any minion ability that uses all the elemental damages. Skeleton Mage is looking like probably one of the, my, my league starters of the league, and I'm going to be making a full build guide of Guardian Skeleton Mages coming up, using these two new abilities, as well as the other reworked Guardian Ascendancies. Make sure to click the like button, click subscribe so you don't miss that video. It's going to probably end up being like a one hour talking session of a PowerPoint, but that's my favorite, that's my favorite way to do a build guide, man, PoE. So, Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully I covered everything in here that makes sense to me so far, but as always, we'll have to figure out first week how it goes. That I will catch you next time.